In this video, I used the Juralar I purchased to create a special palette. If you don't scuff it, however, it doesn't seem to work properly. So as you see, I scuff it up here with this scrubby pad. Now, water-soluble media will stick to it so that I can use it as a palette. The water-soluble media I begin with here are the ink tense pencils. As you can see, by using a watercolor brush, some water, and the ink tense scribbled here, I can mix colors, palette, and I can also add extra water to water them down. This will allow the water-soluble media, such as ink tense pencils, watercolor pencils, watercolor crayons, and watercolor markers to be used more like traditional watercolors. This allows additional effects and flexibility to their use. As you can see, it works differently if you go more directly on the paper, and every single paper reacts and works differently. This is a particular cheap dollar store sketchbook that's not at all intended for watercolor, but I force it to work for water-soluble media anyway. I simply adapt my techniques in order to make the best use of my paper. I find I can get a lot of good use out of papers that aren't even intended for the particular media if I adjust and experiment and use different techniques. You can also use different brushes in order to get very fine effects, lines, and large areas of wash and gradient that you can't normally do with things like ink tense pencils. But you can still go back over once those layers are dry and work with the ink tense or other water soluble media directly on the paper in order to get a more complete functionality from these tools. I'm glad I bought the Duralar, which I also intend to make some artwork on in the future. But for now, I'm actually just using my scuffed up Duralar as a palette and a Duralar sheet I cut as a guard. Now I have the Duralar sheet as a guard. It prevents my skin oils from getting on the paper as well as preventing smudging, but allows me to see through it rather than using a solid paper, which will not allow me to see through. I'll ask you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you're really enjoying my content. As you can see, I continue trying out different watercolor pencils, including the Stabilo All, which are water soluble, and different brands. Here I'm now trying out some water soluble crayons. The watercolor crayons are by the Mungio brand. I'm showing different ways you can use it directly on the paper or mix. It makes it paler when you put it on the Duralar, but it also allows you to do larger washed areas, which you could also work on top of once dry. These are watercolor markers by Winsor & Newton, which are actually pigment based. They simply can only work when palleted, whereas they do not work when directly on this type of paper. It works differently on water soluble paper such as watercolor paper or mixed media paper. The paper really matters for a lot of these mediums. I am actually mixing these different mediums together here. Because they're all water soluble based, they can actually be mixed together on the Duralar palette, allowing completely new colors and techniques to work. By mixing them on the paper here next to each other, it doesn't work out as well as it would work out if you mix it on the Duralar palette. I mixed crayons and ink tents and watercolor markers here to make basically a totally new medium by using a brush with it. Here I'm doing some more examples. This is a different sketchbook and I'm working out just quickly some little rough sketches and trying out the different techniques as well as just showing how I can use the Duralar as an excellent tool as a smudge guard under my hand. I kind of like the idea of these two fishes, but I kind of want to redo it and make it a little less cartoony, change the species up a bit, maybe make the faces a little more realistic and a little more pointed. But I like the idea of it being the contrasting colors, pink and blue in this case, and more of a pastel hue. I tried working into the wet with some ink tents, which creates a very bold and 
hard to move and shift outlook on it. Whereas on the pink fish, I used palleted ink tents on the Juralar instead. So I used more directly on the page on the blue fish, and I used only palleted Juralar and a paintbrush on the pink fish. Just some more examples of different techniques and utilizing the Juralar in order to create artworks using water soluble media. Here I mix all the medias together and make a small rose. I'm mixing watercolor crayons, watercolor markers, and ink tents, in this case, all together, proving that you can create new techniques and new media by figuring out how to do so, how to palette them, how to use them with a paintbrush. The type of paintbrushes I used for this video were watercolor brushes, as this is watercolor based media. Once again, that's all for this video. If you like my videos, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to all notifications so you will know when a new video comes up. I aim for new videos every Wednesday, but sometimes life happens and things are delayed. I hope that you enjoyed this video and will see you with another one very soon.